Sexy and hype don't have to coincide. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna put you on to 10 sexy niche fragrances that nobody cares about and barely even speak about. Let's roll my motherfucking music so we can check out 10 sexy niche fragrances you won't care about. Good morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. This is your boy. See to you to be today. I personally think these fragrances are sexy and they're all diverse in their own right. These are fragrances that barely anybody talks about. Now, I'm not saying they're completely ignored, but they're completely ignored. Nobody cares about them. They want the hype train. They want to saddle up on the hype pony and just go with these fragrances. But these are the ones you need to check out, so let's go. The first fragrance I suggest you guys check out on that sexy train is Marc Antoine Barrio's B683. This fragrance screams red hot chili peppers of adult sexiness. Talking about oud, sandalwood, chili pepper, red chili pepper to be exact, and amazing performance off of my skin. Very mature, very sexy for that corporate chic sexy motherfucker in you. Next one. They probably don't talk about this one as much because it's a new release, but Argos Danai or Danae, this joint is fire. Sweet cashmere wood, ambery, oody, sexy, very mass appeal. Should be on that hype train, but right now nobody's talking about it. And it's a very sexy fragrance that you should definitely try out. Next one. Now this one is not made by the house of Fenty, but it is Rirana and that's black wood. This joint is fire. I remember first smelling this fragrance, it was like, whoa, what is this house? What are they doing and why is this so good? It's essentially a oody cardamom fragrance with rosewood. It's a gorgeous mass appeal fragrance that has a distinctive characteristic all on its own. Essentially not trying to be anything else but itself and in such a small little pretty package, it packs a nice punch, great performance, beautiful mass appeal and super sexy fragrance that isn't too expensive. These joints are under a hundred bucks. Next one. If there was a fragrance that reminds me of Carl Thomas, that amazing R&B singer, Summer Rain, Mare Mai, Oud Rain by Rainier, Parfums. It's crazy because if notes in this fragrance are like papaya, mango, pineapple, and then you get to the mid and bass and it's like oud, wood, incensey, dark, robust, so you have sweet, fruity up top, and then it just chills down into pure bass in your voice. Absolutely a sexy fragrance that you guys have to try out because it's completely different from anything you smell. Next one. I haven't even spoke about this fragrance yet. By the House of Marescu, Soul Batik. Oh my God, stay tuned because this needs its own video. Whew. Next one. The next fragrance on this list is a beautiful, gorgeous fragrance that not many people speak about. It really should because it just helps air out any funky situations that, I don't know, may be happening around you at this particular point when you're like detoxing your body. And that's Mizzen Sir Perfect Oud. A gorgeous masculine fragrance that really hits the notes that you want in a perfect fresh oud fragrance. It's airy, it's light, it's sexy, it's mass appealing. It makes you feel like you just released a large load off of you. Feel light again. It's a gorgeous compliment to any man's fragrance and wardrobe. And let me tell you, it's awesome. Next one. Next one. Tony Iommi by Zerzhov. Incredible fragrance, beautiful presentation, and honestly, a very surprising scent profile. I thought the dude's name was Tommy, but clearly I don't listen to rock music. This joint, incredible. Next one. Amarud Oud Du Jour is the next one on this list. Plum, Oudy, concreteish kind of smell. Not your traditional rose oud combination, as that fruity nuance of that ripe plum really shines in this fragrance. Very sexy, unisex qualities, completely slept on, amazing performance on this joint. And honestly, for the juice quality that's in here, priced fairly well, next one. Now, if you wanna talk about a fruity, boozy oud, Frappin 1270. This joint, since it came out, a lot of people have enjoyed this particular fragrance. And what seems to have happened is people liked it, they enjoyed it, they showed it love 
for about 10 minutes and completely forgot about it in the abundance of other fragrances. So let me tell you that this is a fragrance that should still get notoriety. It's absolutely beautiful. It's great. It's a beautiful boozy fragrance. The house itself specializes in cognac. You think it's not gonna be sexy and boozy? Psh, next one. Last and certainly not least, a fragrance that nobody talks about because they can't get it. It's discontinued. I heard it's going to be repackaged and named something else. When I find out, I will definitely put you guys on and I will purchase a bottle to see if it's even in the same category as Persepolis by Arisha. Smoky perfection. Woody, burnt, embery, embers of flame that is Fucking masterpiece. I don't know why they discontinued this shit. It's a complete disappointment. A lot of people still want to get their hands on it, and that's why a lot of people don't know about it because the shit is impossible to find. But if you can find one, or if we can find out what the next name is, you gotta get this one. Ugh. And these are 10 absolutely sexy fragrances that no one cares about. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart. Let me know what niche sexy fragrance you rock heavy that nobody talks about and people are sleeping on. And I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is, biggest in the game. Smooches. Fly gun holder, money folder, roller roller, star tag when it's time to call back. For the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey, for all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would.